We're here at the Dirt Car Northeast Fall Nationals of the Brockville, Ontario Speedway, standing here with Charlie Sandercock, who's going to be a busy driver this weekend. you got the late model here tonight, the sprint car tomorrow. Talk about tonight first with the late model, though. This is a narrow track for these wide late models. Yeah, it is. This, uh, this track's really fast, fun, but uh, coming down that front stretch into turn two, it, or turn one, it uh, really funnels down, so it should make for some interesting racing. Seems like the top way around this track is tricky too because it's very easy to go up and over the lip and off the track. Talk about uh, how it is to, to run the high line at the boss. Well, here it's just kind of there's a fine line there. If you push the edge, then uh, you're going to go up and over. I've, uh, I've been on both sides of it. I've uh, Going over the top side isn't always fun, but... Now you have a great working relationship with Greg Bellier and your park next to him here and you've had a, a fun year with him as well on the sprint car side. Talk about Greg and, and uh, what he's going through tonight in the championship chase. Well, I just got to say thanks to Greg Bellier for everything that he's done for me this year. Right from uh, February we went down to uh, Volusia and Ocala Speedway with the World of Outlaws. He gave me an opportunity of a lifetime to go down there and uh, enjoy racing with those guys and it was one heck of a time we all had fun and uh, we come back home and he helps out on our crate program a little bit here and then he brought the sprint car to the program and said here try this out and then we've uh, we've had a really fun year this year learning experience and uh, we've done pretty well and we've had a lot of fun and I really hope that he can pull off championship in this Go Nuclear Series he's uh, really competitive right now he's got his car and his team really dialed in and everything's really good for him hopefully everything ends up good for him tonight now we've seen a lot of modified drivers make the change over to a sprint car but not so many late model drivers they seem like two totally different animals to drive yet somehow you've really shone in the sprint car yeah like those sprint cars the first couple times i've drove them they're like wow it's totally different totally different like with the late models you're right over on the right front wheel and you're digging that nose and you're using that right front tire to turn but with late mo or the sprint cars there you're you go to the corner you drop your left elbow on the left rear tire and they're two totally different cars especially when you go from one race to another last time at Brighton there we finished on the top three so we're on the front straightaway got the late model right after that right on the front straightaway it was just it felt totally different like it felt like something was wrong <laughs> but they're uh, a lot of fun to drive now you look back at your race at the Canadian Sprint Car Nationals with the Sprint Car. It didn't end the way you wanted, but man, that was impressive to run that little feature, to be at the front, to be that guy that was it was going to be someone like Randy Hannigan for the only qualifying spot. That has to give you a lot of confidence heading into next year. Yeah, I really got to say thanks to our whole team on the Sprint Car. Like I, I really walked into this not knowing a single thing, and uh, the whole team is just kind of here we are to have fun, and we ended up working pretty good and yeah now the nationals it was like wow look at us we're we're doing this and our the car was just phenomenal and everything worked good and it was i was really looking forward to getting in the feature and just kind of playing it out and i think i would have been the only rookie in the in the field but and i just kept digging and running into some troubles and oh well that's the way it goes sometimes and we had fun doing it though now the SOS at Brighton, they've had a long history there and, and it's really cool now to have a hometown driver competing and running up front. What's it like being that hometown guy? Have you got a little bit more pressure when you're at Brighton in the sprint car? Uh, not so much pressure. They kind of think every person wants to win just as much as the next, but when I won my first heat race at Brighton, it really, really felt good. Like I come down the front straight away and you could see everyone was just cheering and standing and having a really proud and then the biggest thing that got me was all the differences and all the drivers and who they are and over the past years or whatever and you wheel down through the pits and almost every single team and driver and crews all staying at the end of the trailer giving you a hit, thumbs up or high five or whatever it really felt good and I like to thank everybody for that. Now looking ahead to 2013 it'll be here before you know it. what are your plans we know you have a new late model in the stable uh, what should we expect from Charlie Sandercock in 2013? Our 2013 plans are kind of the same that we were, were this year for 2012. Just go out one race at a time and have fun. We do have a new late model at home that uh, a friend of mine, Paul Crowder, and I have teamed up and uh, are going to try and win the championship at Brighton as well as these Go Nuclear Series races. And are also going to do the sprint car thing just as much as we did this year. And we'd like to go after that championship, give Lee Lattis a uh, run for his money hopefully next year. That's kind of our plan and go and have fun and that's what it's all about.
There you go, that's Charlie Sandercock here at the Dirt Car Northeast Fall Nationals of the Brockville, Ontario Speedway. I'm Greg Kelman.